go to some point. Well, triangles don't work with tessellations. Uh, triangles will work with rotations. And because um, technically, I mean, my meeting's supposed to end, and I'm going to go, uh, I'm just going to do the translation thing again, OK, uh, with a square. And you know, I think you guys, you guys should be savvy enough to kind of play around, experiment, and fail with it. That's okay, all right. But that's that's on your own time. All right, here we go. Uh, regular polygon, right? And then I'm gonna make two points. Then I'm gonna say four, okay. And make sure I click on move. All right. Now I'm going to create my nibble by selecting points that are like the outline of the cutout. So maybe I'll, I'll go here, here, here. Remember, we can manipulate it later, OK? And actually, before I translate these, I'm going to go ahead and make the other set of nibble on the left-hand side that I'm going to move to the right-hand side, OK? So Mr. Lu, here, here, here. Yeah. With these like sort of translations, you can't get a curve. Right. Um, I wouldn't do the curve because, well, I haven't played around to the extent. I I know people have said it's hard to do the curve, um, and it doesn't interlock perfectly. So that's why I've avoided curves. Okay. All right. Now, remember, if we're going to translate by a vector, we got to make the vector tool. So we got to make a vector. So go to lines and vector, and I'm going to make a vector from D to A. So one that moves it down. And then from this, these points are going to go to the right-hand side, right? So I'm going to make a vector from A to B. That'll give me the direction. Now, once I'm there, I'm going to translate these points. So I'm going to click on Translate by Vector. And one by one, I'm going to move each of these points. So this E is supposed to go down here. So I'm going to go E and then click on this vector. Okay. And actually, if you want to like, take a video of yourself doing this part, that's fine too. That works. That just shows me you're doing it, OK? So if you want to like mute me for a second because I'm talking too much, um, you can do that, OK? My geo, my geo bro just crashed. Uh, hey guys, unless you're going to talk, actually, can you guys mute because some people might be audio recording. It's okay if I'm in your audio recording. It's not a big deal. But from here, we make our polygon tool. So click on regular polygon. And now we connect the dots. So from D to E, F, you get the point. Remember, if you mess up, you can always just do the undo tool. Now from here, I want to kind of hide some of these labels. I'm actually going to first, I want to hide, uh, I'm going to click on this, the regular polygon we made first. I'm going to hide that. Oops, sorry, it was a label. I'm going to first go to over here on the left, and I'm going to go up to where it says polygon. That was our original one we made, and I'm going to unclick it. You see how it makes it disappear. Now I'm going to go back here to the middle here, and I'm going to hide some of these labels. I don't like them here. Or maybe I'll keep those. But I'll
you do not have to do this, but I just think it makes it look cleaner and it's not gonna look so repetitive when you make copies of these. All right, and then once I've done that, now this is the part where you can kind of play around to make your tessellation. Click on one of the original points and you can just kind of move around. As long as it doesn't fold in on itself like this. You see how it folds in on itself? Just make sure it doesn't do that. And you can make a pretty cool looking, look at this. Here is a pretty wicked looking tessellating piece. Maybe I'll move this J up here. Whoa. This almost looks like a big uh, pelican or something with its beak on the left-hand side. I'll actually do this. I think it looks pretty cool. Now from here, now we're going to do the tessellating, okay? At this point, if you would like to get rid of some of your labels for the points, you can, but I would keep A and B. A, B, and D at least, okay? So I'm gonna get rid of uh, some of these other labels. You do not have to do this, but I just think it looks a little cleaner. It's up to you. Uh, there we go, okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the same vector to translate, at least for the first two couple ones. So we're going to go over to down here where it says translate by vector. Now, um, at this point, I can select this, you see? And then I'm gonna select a vector to move. So I wanna move to the right. So maybe I'll move the one down here. Click on this AB vector, you see? Boom, and it makes my test translation. And then now in here, we can't select both objects at the same time by clicking on it and pressing shift, like some things you can do. So what I have to do is I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and then for translate by vector, I'm going to click and drag over both of these, and then I'm gonna move it down. I don't wanna move it to the right because this is only gonna move one distance this way, you see? So it's gonna overlap, which is not bad, but it just looks, it's not efficient. So we're gonna move these down by clicking this downward vector, boom. Look at that, it's pretty cool, right? And then, um, Actually, even at this point, if you wanted to, if you wanted to, you could take a point and you can move it, look, and it changes all of them. You see how they're all linked to each other. So maybe I'll adjust it to look like this a little bit. You don't have to. Okay, anyways. So now we want to translate even more. Um, I mean, at this point, remember, you can still, you can audio record, screencast, whatever. Um, now, here's a problem though. If I want to move these four over to be these four over here, I can't move by this vector. It's not long enough. There'll be some overlap. So I have to create a new vector that's double this length, right? So we have to first make two different vectors, one for up, one for down. So I'm gonna to go to lines and vector. And you can still use it the same, kind of go over the same. I'm gonna go over from here over to here. You see how it's the same point over here, double length. I'll use that and then I'll do this vector from here to here in preparation for moving it to the right and down. So now when we want to do that, we just have to translate by vector here. And I'm going to select everything here. Make sure you've zoomed it out far enough where you can do that. And then I'm going to click on this. Now, don't click here because you're not really sure if you're clicking this original vector or the double vector. So I'm going to click double vector right here, bam. There you go. And then if I want to move it down, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, click this whole thing, and then move this with the double vector. Remember, it's kind of overlapping here, but I'm going to double right here. Bam. Whoops. Now look, look what I did. I accidentally clicked a point. So I'm going to undo that. Sometimes it gets, uh-oh, what did I just do? Oh, I don't know, but I'm back here. Okay, that's okay. Sometimes it's a little laggy. So I'm gonna go back, translate by vector, select this all, and hopefully I'm clicking this one. Let's see here. 
Did it work? It did. There you go. Now, it's pretty easy once you get the hang of the vectors. And if you want to make a triple vector, or actually, you can't do a triple vector. It's going to be quadruple, so it goes across this whole thing, right? You can do that. At this point, if you would like to um, kind of start coloring, you can you can select each one, and you can go to this color tool here. And you know, there's a lot of different colors you can use. Um, you know, oops, and then you press X. Or if you want to make it more dark, you can just kind of make this tells you how colored in it'll be. If you want to make like a Skittles kind of thing. Um, and then once you color code it, and then you can just zoom in if you want, and then just take a screenshot, this will be good enough for your um, final tessellation, um, that last slide. Okay. Hope this tutorial helped. I'm going to stop recording now.